Just why? Why will you not want to incorporate keyword research into your business? Easy keyword research strategy exists that gets you free customers from the billion potential customers that flood Google every day looking for solutions that your business or your blog can position itself and easily rank very high on Google to provide for them. You make more money and scale your business to new heights in the process. I had a conversation with a client of mine who is underutilizing his business website for niche keyword research and I showed him how to choose keywords to get highly lucrative, very low competition keywords that can let him get new customers and scale his business in the process. I have decided to share that short niche keyword research step strategy with you. Watch this eye-opening short video and feel free to use the keyword research project strategy I shared with him. If you need more help for your business SEO or you need keyword ideas for your business, your blog or your business website, you can reach out to me using the email address in the video description. Now, enjoy the video. Okay, I want you to quickly see this. Um, this is actually a video for my customers that have websites but they are not like using all the functionality or let me say going forward some of the things you should be thinking about now number one i think yeah i think that your website should have a functional blog page like your a blog page is the page that's the, that's majorly the play, the page through which a lot of people will really have to come to your website because when people go on Google to search for things, they go to search for solutions to their problems. So, for example, if somebody is looking for a photographer in your neighborhood, they go to Google to check up photographers in my neighborhood, stuff, stuff like that. And they could also check for some other things, like I will show you. So, for example, if... Now, look at this. I actually tagged... This is a tool I used to do my research. So, I am, I'm targeting this particular keyword, wedding photographer, for example. Um, I want to see if people are really searching for something like this in United Kingdom. Of course, we can narrow down to areas in United Kingdom. It doesn't have to be the whole of the kingdom. It could be, you know, we could make it, um, I don't know, I don't live in UK, but, you know, states, cities, neighborhoods and stuff like that. But for now, let me just make it broad based and then people that speak English. So I did a search for it and look at what I, some of the things I found here. Now, look at this. People are looking for wedding photographer near me in UK about the volume of people who search for keyword like this on Google every month is roughly about 6,600. And um, here, this is the means how difficult it is for your website to come up when people search for this kind of, this keyword specifically. Now, any SD that appears green here shows that it's very easy to, you know, to pop up. It's easy. Why the ones that are from 35 to 100, they are a little bit more difficult. As the number goes up, the more difficult it gets. Okay, but the whole idea for new website owners is to target keywords that have this green color because this green color tells you that um, it's easy to rank for. These keywords are easy to rank for. Okay, so this update is telling you when last did this research to did the update for this. So, for example, if you uh, if you optimize your website for this keyword wedding photographer in uk now these are some of the keywords that you can target wedding photographer in glasgow wedding photographer and stuff like that you can see the volume of people that are searching for these things online in the united kingdom every month and you can see how green 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 these things are so these are opportunities for you to popularize your business, possibly get more customers. You can see what we have in here. These are great keywords. These are great keywords that you can actually optimize your website for so that your website don't just stay there like that, you know. At least people should be coming in. And when people come in, of course, you know as a business owner that if you have a shop in a busy street, for example, for the fact that that street is busy alone, opens up your shop for a lot of opportunities which you may not even have been thinking about before. So you get. So when people come to your website, even if they just come in, check up and go, check up and go, there are a lot of things that could result from that. Apart from the fact that you can actually target all of these people to start buying from you. Like this thing is cool. Like look at it. You have a lot of opportunities here. So that when people search for these things on Google, your website should be coming up. And by the way, your website is, though your website is online, but your website is not specifically on Google. It's on Google, okay? But there's something we call 
um, to you want your website to be ranking on Google. You want Google Crowler to be on your website working for you. We did not. We have not. We didn't do anything like that on your website. That doesn't mean that if we type as of Tom dot, dot com on Google, your website will come out. But that one, you are the one searching for it yourself. When people search for things that are related to photography, for example, your website will not come up. It is only when they search for things around photography and now mention the name of your website that website can manage to come up. Do you get that? So that's a different service from web design. It's SEO if you're interested. Okay, so this is what I said I should show you. You might look at, okay, this is suggestion. Look at, let's see, there are more, I'm sure there are more keywords that you can actually run for. There are just plenty. Like if you take time to do this thing for like three months, six months, because SEO is not a one week, two weeks result thing. It's like, it's a long-term thing. It's a long-term thing, okay? So these are things you could begin to look at opportunities to run for and begin to get free traffic, free customers, in the uk alone that's one then again of course it doesn't have to be in the uk alone. for example i know we are your website is basically serving uk and nigeria so i can decide to say okay i don't want to see uk results i want to see nigeria results for example of course again we can say you can say hey you can see now back you can see here you can really narrow down if it's only lagos you want if it's only so you can see what i'm trying to say but here let's just target the whole of nigeria and research again Okay, so if I scroll down, so you can see for Nigeria. Okay, Nigeria is, you can see it's smaller. The volume is smaller, but then the search difficulty is also smaller. Okay, this is for Nigeria. Okay, uh, Nigeria, okay, for this particular keyword, Nigeria is not really very, but then 10, 15, 10, 15, you can see the, the search difficulty here is very small. So if 10 persons are coming to your website every month from Nigeria, five persons, all of them will add up. Okay, they will add up. And then, Another thing you need to know is that this is just for wedding photographer. I can decide that I want to do for, let me use, let's say, which one did you do? Portraits. You don't have to spell portraits. Portraits. Photographer. Let me see if anything will come in on that portrait photographer again in the United Kingdom. Let's search again. Okay. All right, so this is you can this is again for portrait photographer in London. You can see here there are about one thousand persons searching for this keyword on Google every month in London. Um, let's we're not talking about CPC and this one now. Look at it. The search difficulty is twenty seven. Very easy to rank for. Okay, so portrait photography studio. So these are opportunities for portrait photography types and stuff like that okay so we can do for all the keywords that are related to the kind of service that you render portrait photography wedding photographer uh which other one landscape photographer and all those things you can pack your website with those keywords so that when people are searching for those kind of things on google your website can shoot up okay and then people can see what you're doing then you can get your customers from your website so that your website will not just be a portfolio alone like you're using it for now okay it can blow up and who knows a lot of things can come up one of the things that can come up from people searching your website for example you can decide that you want to be promoting uh, let's say cameras for example so if people come to your website if you're promoting cameras on your website people could read about those cameras and then you could open maybe an affiliate link with um, amazon for example so that uh, when you recommend a camera to them when they go to Amazon to buy the camera from your website, you get affiliate commissions on it and stuff like that. That's another thing you can do when people are coming to your website. So I just said I should at least inform you about this. Who knows? You might need it and you may not need it. But it's my, it's my responsibility to let you know about it so that at least you can know that something like this is existing. All right. Thank you. Easy, right? Try this keyword research strategy and watch how you get flood of free customers to your business in the next few weeks. If you want me to help you with your business SEO, your business website to rank on Google, or you just need keyword ideas for your website, send me a mail using the email address in the video description. And of course, I will be willing to help you. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.